Students are getting a boost during the pandemic. As CBS 47's AJ Cotto shows us, a weekly dine-out event lets restaurants take to the streets for outdoor dining every Friday. Third Friday, the street's been closed down. Restaurants are enjoying letting people dine outside while shops are excited for the extra foot traffic. After being hit hard by the pandemic, some restaurants in downtown Hanford are getting the opportunity to open their doors in the open air. We missed being open. It is a huge, a huge thing for us. Executive Director of Main Street Hanford, Michelle Brown, says restaurants in the area don't have many outdoor seating options or parking lots to take over. So they started the event Dine Out Downtown, closing 7th Street between Irwin and Harris every Friday evening. People want to go out to restaurants, and they also want to gives them the opportunity to be outdoors and still be able to have dinner and enjoy a beautiful evening in downtown Hanford. Brown says they don't know the economic impact yet, but Brian Alves, co-owner of Hop Forge Brewing Company, says it's been tremendous. They've only been doing takeout. Now, following all distance guidelines, they're able to fill about half the block with roughly 20 tables. We hear nothing but good things. People kind of feel the same way. They're just cooped up in their houses and very thankful just to be able to sit somewhere and enjoy themselves. Five restaurants are participating and many shops are staying open later too. It's really refreshing to see people downtown. Ashlyn C. opened her bridal boutique right as COVID-19 hit and says this added foot traffic is great for her new business. Even just being down here, having the doors open, the lights on, it just kind of gives the community, hey, this isn't an empty building anymore. We're here, we're open. This event happens every Friday from 5.30 to 9.30 and organizers say they will continue having these events until restaurants are allowed to have diners back inside. In Hanford, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.